Hello, plant people. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, this is video three on different types of vegetables you can plant in your garden. And the sole purpose of this whole video is to give you guys ideas on what seeds you may want to buy or start for your garden in 2021. The first video was about unique and different types of tomatoes. The second one was about different types of cucumbers. And this one is about bizarre vegetables that you can grow in a Canadian garden that you may not have tried before some of these are more advanced level garden crops so if you are a beginner buyer beware here but it is something that you may want to work your way up to so the first one being calabash calabash i've never grown this thing before i don't even know what it tastes like i don't know do you cook this do you eat this raw let me know in the comments down below I think it's very unique looking, uh, very cool. And I uh, I just wanna know what it's used for. Like, what do you use this for? Like, how do you utilize this thing? I think it's very decorative. I think it's very unique in that sense. So I would just grow it for the decoration portion of it. But yeah, very bizarre looking plant. The second one being loofahs. Now these are becoming so popular. Um, Americans are big into them because some of them can take a very long time to grow. So you're going to want to get a shorter season loofah. There's like the Thai giants, which can take upwards of a year to uh, fully develop. So that may be not in your best interest, but there are some shorter season ones that you may want to look at. They are usually around 120 days and because they are a vining plant, they do not transplant well. So if you choose to do a loofah, what I would do is I would actually put it into a peat uh, pot and then I would just transplant the peat pot and not rough up those roots whatsoever. You may have to grow these in like a hot house for a huge portion of the year. They are not frost resistant whatsoever and you want to keep continuous growth on this plant. You don't want any down weeks. So it's something to think about, but these are literally what you use in the shower. Like these are loofahs, like the loofahs you buy at the store for showering with and you can grow them in your garden. So very cool. I'll leave links if I can find any uh, down below for these products if you want to grab them. Another one is Caletis, Caletis, and this is cool. This is a spinach kale hybrid. How cool is that? It is 110 to 138 days. So you're gonna wanna start these sooner rather than later in a lot of cases. Now, this was so funny. I read the story about this. And like I said, I'm a sucker for stories, but this was developed because of the health food craze and how everyone's like, kale or spinach, which one do I go for? So some people thought it would be really funny to make a hybrid of the two most dreaded vegetables anyone could possibly eat, kale and spinach. But it made a relatively cool looking plant and it may be something that you may want to eat or decoratively put in your garden. Next one is the horned melon. It is 110 days and I had to just include it because it's just bizarre looking. I don't know what it tastes like, no idea. Um, it might be disgusting, I don't know. But if you grew it and you lived in like Saskatchewan, I feel like you'd really blow a ton of people away. And the next one is passion flower and they are an acquired taste. Um, if you don't like passion fruit, I completely understand. They can be considered sour. The texture is something in and of itself that you'd have to get over. Um, it's a combination of gooey with crunchy for lack of a better term. But the reason why I included this one is because it can actually be an indoor and an outdoor plant. So if you were to put this into a container garden scenario and you had a trellis and you were able to move this outside and indoors, you could technically grow this vine all year long. And the flower on them in and of itself is very unique and very, very beautiful. So if you're looking for an indoor garden or something just unique houseplant wise, then passion flowers are the ones to go with. Now, passion flowers do enjoy um, a little bit of rough treatment in the beginning when they are in the seed stage. They need a little bit of fertilization and things like that. So make sure you read these instructions that come with your passion flower plant 
follow them to the T because that company knows what they've done to the seed and then what you have to do in turn. So this next one is very interesting. I've never heard of this before. It is an Oka New Zealand yam. So it is a lemony potato. It is a potato that tastes like lemon. And I just, I think that would just be so unique to grow. I don't know how you would ever get your hands on this. Again, some of these are rare, so you might have issues finding them, but I just, lemony potato. I just am intrigued by that and I want to try it. And the last one is Romanesco. And I included this one because it has a nutty flavor. And anything that has a nut flavor to it, that's not a nut, um, that's not a pita, I've, I don't mind that. I like cooking with that sort of thing. So I'd be interested in growing that as well. This was a super short video, but I hope it gave you some ideas of unique crops that you can grow in Canada. It doesn't have to be boring carrots and um, beets and cucumbers and all that stuff. You can do some unique stuff too. So be sure to try different stuff this year in 2021. Most of us are going to have the time anyways from the looks of it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to get, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if I could get that out of my mouth. And let me know in the comments below any unique crops that you've decided to try, whether or not they worked, and if they didn't, what you could do differently next year to make it happen. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.